What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back to the next part. And before we get started in the capital, we still need to wrap up Kaled. So head on over to the Bestial Sanctum. We got a lot to do. Um, now, there's a reason we saved it until now. Upper Kaled is super, super hard. Uh, by far, this will be the hardest content we've tackled so far. Uh, we also have two beast things to turn in. So go on and turn those in. That will get you two really nice spells, Stone of Rock, as well as Beast Claw. Uh, now those are really good. The Beast Claw is a nice AoE. I wish we had gotten it earlier because it's such a fun spell. And then the stone, you just literally hurl a boulder. So if you're looking for some cheap physical incantations, they are good bets. Uh, now obviously right here we have the Gargoyle. We are going to be fighting him with our Great Stars. Because even though this is 841 and this is 600, this is striking. Well, actually, actually, you know what? I'm not sure. Let's let's see. Let's We're going to boop him with both and see which is hitting harder. We need him to look at us first. We're gonna probably take a pop here, so. 608 on that. That was 540. Oh no! Uh, dodge that. We're fat rolling briefly. So yeah, we're seeing 504. If I go to this. Look how we're fighting a boss while actively testing weapon damage. 522. And so that's a good diff 841 compared to 600, but that's a very good demonstration of uh, striking versus slash damage and why you might want one over the other. So consider this guy the litmus test for this area. If you can't beat him, you aren't ready to do uh, upper Caleb yet. That little whirlwind, that'll hurt. Oh, big on the head. Come here. And that's why I love that spell. Sets you up for easy knockdowns. Should have come at us, but it failed because we were fighting him on the hill. Oh, he bought me. You know, I like Golden Land, but this guy, I don't know if it's the elevation, but I'm not seeing um not seeing the damage I would like out of that. So we're gonna switch it over. Golden Land's really good for smaller targets, but it's not really panning out on this beefy boy. Oh, I could put cold in that frostbite. That would be nice. on here to try to remember his exact resistances. Uh, let's do his magic, I guess. Just getting a little more damage in. I'm going to grab my runes as well. Nice juicy hit. That hurts a lot. Alright, let's try and fight you up here. Would you come up top and fight me, please? I'm trying to not... I want you to stay on even ground. See, the hardest I'm, like, I'm just gonna wait up here for him the hardest part of this fight is the fact that he doesn't want to fight on even ground and I'm whiffing attacks 
stay still. Noxious little fellow. So the Gargoyle's Black Blade, as well as the Halberd. Um, that Black Blade, that little blast he does off of it, it's pretty solid. So next, we're going to talk about some loot that currently you can't get, um, but hopefully this gets patched. You could get this back in 1.02, uh, but in 1.03, now there's currently a bug. So right here, you can see a branch. Uh, if you drop down to that branch, well, here, just to... Just to show what's going to happen here. So what you should be doing is... Do I have my flask attack active still? I should, yeah. So you drop down to the branch. And then you can see the messages. So the idea is you make your way down. But right now, as soon as you drop... Oh, no, it's working. Oh, Ooh, okay. All right, well, this may not work for all of you. Uh, on PC, at least, as soon as I was dropping, I was instantly dying. And so it was bugged. So... I have passed on this, but it's letting me come down and get it. Alright, well, we're going to be a little blind here, because I, I couldn't actually get down here in the walkthrough prep to test. Um, of course... I'm not even sure what's at. <laughs> There's two pieces of loot down here, but like I said, I couldn't actually get down here in the walkthrough prep, because this has been bugged out. So if for some reason it is instant killing you, I would suggest just, you know, wait for the next patch. Uh, now let's see. There should be a dagger. Where are you at? Where are you at? I don't even know where it's at. Um, let me let's see. Pull up a picture of this. Um... Um, da, da, da. All right, let's see, it should be located in the middle of the third layer. We may have missed it. Yeah, but there's both a dagger as well as the base dragon crest shield talisman down here, but I'm not seeing them. Because I've never actually had to come down here. Um, not that I've never had to, but I, I couldn't. Actually, you know what? It might be lower. Yeah, it's probably lower. Let's go a little bit lower. fat rolling without that. We're going to also put on our cat. down here, so let's swap off of that. I think we're done most of our rolls. Alright, where is it at? Where is it at? Oh, it's down here. All this way for a talisman we're never going to use, as well as a dagger that we're not going to use. That looks like what we're looking for. Alright, 
is the Cincada. Uh, let's see. And then I think it's just over here for the crappy talisman. Yes, it is. Okay. Like I said, uh, that has been bugged for a bit. Like, on the walkthrough prep, as soon as we would drop, we would instantly die. Not even falling, we would just drop and die. So, that seems to be fixed. Um, at least it was on, on PS5. I can't speak to other platforms, but definitely want to put that out there. Uh, anyway, with that done, let's head over to the Deep CO for a well. I would like to go get a new talisman. There's a lot to do in Upper Kaled. This part's going to be a little hard. Uh, now, real fast, we're going to run... Right down here. We did this back when, um, back when we were, you know, we came up here very briefly. Uh, just to show, though, there is a stone sword key over here. This bear is very angry. You should not mess with the bear. If it attacks, just run, honestly. Uh, stone sword key right over here, though, on that body. We've already picked that up previously in this walkthrough. Would want to point that out. These are more explody boys, just run on past, don't worry about them. Probably should have spent all of my runes before coming out here, but I will, uh... I don't know, I'll somehow manage. Guy, but we do want. Come on, would you stop, please? We want. Eh, there we go. Spiked Palisade Shield. And we could have done this area earlier, but honestly, it's better to wait for this specific part until you're higher because uh, you are about to get a taste of tryhards and PvP, whether you want it or not. Well, technically, technically PvE, but... So the first one, it doesn't matter if we kill. This one, though, we do want down. This one will get involved in our fights, and we don't want that. man does have a talisman that I want for this build, so. Now this is the Great Jar. Uh, this is a dueling gauntlet. We gotta run on up, talk to him, he'll go dot dot dot. After that, you can now see Knight of the Great Jar's red summon signs, and you can see there are three summon signs here. Now, you need to win all three of these fights in a row without dying. If you die, you can always try again, but you need to beat all three. So, obviously this is, uh, it's kind of hard, you know? Three fights in a row. Um, let me go ahead and put on my stamina thing. I'm gonna want that for these. But by doing this, uh, we already have this and this. We get the upgraded version, the super good version. So, uh, it pulls from people who have recently beat it. This guy's a golden halberd. What does this guy have? This guy, actually, no, this doesn't look like, am I online right now? I don't know. See, are we online? This looks like offline players. Perform matchmaking. Cross region play. No, we're definitely online. All right, well, let's just go for it. Um, I came here the other day and it was just Moonvale. It was like just a bunch of Moonvale spammers. I was like, oh, fun, cool. Yes, I love this. Yeah, that is bug. That's okay. One is dead. Have you come here at a lower level? Honestly, your best bet is going to be blowing these guys off a cliff and cheesing them. Uh, if you fight them offline, it's a different set of enemies. Like, if there's like a preset, there's like four or five different knights that could run through. 
But, you know, you're gonna have varying luck with this. You might show up and it's gonna be some dude with rivers of blood or, you know, something. Or it's gonna be a guy like this that has quick step. And they have a ton of health. I feel bad for whoever's gonna have to fight my character over here. <laughs> Somebody's gonna get their ass beat. So bleed's gonna work fantastic here. But by beating three, you get dot dot dot, and then the Great Jar's arsenal, which is what we wanted. Uh, so from here, we're gonna warp on out. Go over to the Froom Great Bridge. Uh, the only thing of note right here was that level 9 Sombering we picked up. There's a bunch of Beastmen around here. And I think there might be like a Golden Rune 9 or Golden Rune 6. But in general, it's just like a kind of a highly dangerous area uh, to just run around in. So I would... Um, oh, well, there is the Golden Sea. There is a Golden Sea, but we, we picked that up earlier just to confirm. run on over and check for the seed real fast. It should be right along the path. You can see it already. And I mean, at this level, you should be okay. Let's see. Yeah, we can almost one-shot them, uh, but the seed is the only, like, oh yeah, you need to get that. Out of the way. And you know what? I am gonna spend those runes. I'm sitting on almost 210,000. I'm sure some people are biting their nails looking at this. And coming out, you're going to probably get like 10 levels doing all the stuff here, to be honest. There is a, uh, there's a ton of souls, or a ton of runes you're going to be getting out of these guys. Uh, next we have a dragon. This is a named dragon. We're not going to kill every single dragon here because it would take us a just ridiculous amount of time. Uh, but the named ones we'll take out. Take down the Flying Dragon Grail. Get another Dragon Heart. Um, let's see. So we did the Great Jar, we did Bestial Sanctum. Oh yeah, we're gonna run across the bridge. And then there's a spell we can pick up. Just kind of look over the side there. And you can see a little path coming up. Right there, you can see the little shiny already. We're gonna go for him next. Constitution, which will stop bleed and frost build up. Uh, our goil outside, be some shiny guy. Then we'll do the Erd tree next. Um, it is just a regular Erd tree guardian, but I mean, he's probably gonna give you a little bit of trouble. Like I said, stuff in this zone is it, it's honestly insane. Uh, how strong enemies in Upper Kalid are. Because, I mean, you could easily wander into here as a lower level player, and then you're fighting just absolutely monstrous things. Like, look how hard this guy's hitting. You will get hit harder by the shit in here than you have all game.
This one also does a Rot Mist. That's why it's good to have a summon distracting him. Take him out. That is going to get you access to some new tiers, as they always do. Opaline Hard Tier, which I believe that's resistances across the board. Uh, and then Stone Barb Cracked. If I remember, I think Stone Barb is uh, increased damage from consecutive attacks. Uh, so we still have our Flask active. We're going to want it active. Oh my god, no, I almost died there. That would have been terrible. Very terrible, indeed. Um, let me go ahead and pop my flask now since we're going to be going down and dropping. I'd also suggest you put on your long tail cap for this next part. So you can see a branch down there. Just kind of walk right off. And we're going to go along. We're going to walk off again. Get over to here and fall. Okay. Now you can see the gaps a little bit bigger. So for this next part, I would suggest Torrent. Give it a hop. And then double hop to get onto that branch. From here, you have made it on down. Now that guy is insanely strong for whatever reason. Um, I'm going to try and fight him, but... You don't get anything for beating him, so it's kind of like, why are you as strong as you are? It doesn't make sense. Get Rain of Arrows. And this is why I popped my thing to... I'm going to put on a second one, just in case it runs out. Because if I die, I don't want, you know, all of the runes I've gathered to be down here. And yeah, we have to wake him up to get the goodie. Well, let's, um... Buff up. Draws a line with that, you want to run behind one of these pillars. Of course, while this is happening, you need to be aware of the halberd. Two charged hits, the exposed hand should knock him down though. See, this guy hits really hard. Risky plays. All I had to do was hide behind the pillar, uh, but you don't get anything for killing him. I mean, you, well, there's a chance he'll drop his halberd, uh, but that's it. And damn, my flask did run out, so that's okay. I still got two of those as backup. Um, after that, though, let's head over to. Uh, we'll do Lenny's Rise real quick. We'll knock that out, and then we're gonna knock out a cave, and then we'll probably wrap this one up there. Uh, so we, of course, already we already cleared Lenny's Rise. You just jump up into it. You get the memory stone. Jump up here. And see, we're just getting some roots. I'm gonna go back to Golden Land since Waves of Darkness is currently bugged.
Okay. Then we're going to transition things to nighttime. And that will spawn a Night Rider for us to fight. Mm, I could probably use Prayerful Strike and show you all that as well. It's funny, man. That thing hits hard. I just love this move. No, not Keen. What are you doing? Quality. That's better. Nightfall. We got this. And then uh, we'll do Dragon Barrow Cave as well. Getting the big oomph I used to on Golden. I wonder if they stealth nerfed it. I mean, there's lots of good ashes I can use instead, but that would suck. That's going to get you Bloodhound Step, which is the most obnoxious move in all of PvP. Just super, super annoying to deal with that thing. Uh, from here, though, we're going to the Dragon Barrow Fork. Um, I will say that's really good for getting through areas, so we're going to actually take that and we're going to put it on our dagger for any time we need to dash. It's basically just a better version of dodge. Uh, so from here, we're going pretty much right over here. It looks like we're going to the Erd Tree, but we're not. We're going on into a cave. We're also going to switch back to our Bloodhound Fang. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. I gotta take the lower path. That's why it's called the Fork. Okay, the road splits. Anyway, uh, run on over this way. And when you start seeing the burrs, you knew you are in the right place. Pretty straightforward cave. This is definitely one of the, the, the short and sweet ones. Uh, the very first thing when we get inside of it is going to be a rune bear. So you walk in and you're like, oh my god, is this whole cave going to be filled with these? But no, thankfully, there's just one rune bear we got to take out. And look at that, we're already back up to 261,000. That's that's why we saved this area, because, like, you get so many runes up here because the stuff is insanely hard. So with the room bear down, uh, there's a couple loots in this room that we can get. Uh, this is where we came from, I think. Yes, okay. Uh, so we're gonna get, let's see, room bear guarding two loots, north path for loot and bunnies. Okay, we wanna go these two. And then we're gonna take the north path. Uh, no wait, the north is the drop down, we don't wanna take that yet. 
Wait, north path for loot and bunnies. Take the south path and drop for the wolves. Okay, no, we do want the north path. I think I rode down the wrong directions. This does not. This looks like the area that has the wolves. Yes, it is. Son of a bitch. I mixed up my direction. So we'll get through it and then we'll go do the bunnies. So there's wolves on this side. Alright. Uh, continue south here. Not that south, the other south. Hang on. This south. And this brings us to the boss. Which is just uh, double Faramazula, guys. We've already fought these before. Um, you know, y'all y'all know the drill. These guys aren't particularly hard. Kill the one in the back first. That's the one that likes to throw shit at you. What though? They sure shit hurt. Okay. Let's hear them. Flame Drake plus two, which we're probably not going to be using, but, you know. I don't know. Maybe you need fire resist for something. might have respawned. If it does, we're just gonna creep on past it. Or try to, at least. Very yeah, sneaky. Just like Sekiro, we're stealthed. He'll never see us inside this bush. Oh my god, he saw us in the bush. The bush doesn't give as much stealth as I thought. Anyway, run on down here. Yeah, see, this is going south. I must have had, it's because it curves around south. Uh, but anyway, there's like a nice little sanctuary here with like all kinds of happy animals and the bull goat's talisman, which is what we really want. And thankfully he hasn't followed me out, so we can just warp out from here. Uh, I believe we're good. There's like a one firefly there. Let's grab that. Okay. And we're gonna go to Fort Faroth. We got two more things we're going to hit. And then we're done with this episode. So we're just going straight west to that big skull. There's a bunch of loots that are just right on top of it. So we're just running up top grabbing those loots. Smithing stones, which will be nice to upgrade my bonk stick with. Uh, from there, I'm going to mark right here and start at Dragon Barrow West. And we're going to run all the way down. There's actually an Everjail up on the cliffside. Now, obviously, there are a ton of dragons still in this area. If you want to go and, and kill all the dragons, I mean, you'll get more dragon hearts, you'll get more runes. There's a ton to kill, um, but like you don't, you know, it's not like, oh, if you kill all the dragons, you get the magical dragon slaying blade or something. Like, no, there's nothing like that. So if you want to kill dragons, by all means, kill dragons. Um, but I'm not going to go through Kaled and, you know, take the two hours it would take to murder every dragon here. It's just, uh, it's silly. Uh, right here, though, 
if you do want to get a dragon, it's a pain in the ass, but you can get a dragon and kite him over to the statue and break it open. Um, to be honest, I'm just not that desperate for the upgrade mats, but to show you. Come on, big boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, no, 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 no. Come get over here. Come on. Come on, that's right. Come over this way. Let's go. Keep it coming. Come on, get with the program, man. See, this is what I'm talking about. Look at him. It's like he has Alzheimer's or something. He walks like four feet and then he turns around and he's like, wait, was there... Was somebody hitting me? I'm hitting you. I'm actively hitting you. Look, yes, me. Me, the person with the sword. Come this way. Continue to come this way. Biggest pain in my ass. Come on. Yep, we're just we're just over the ridge. I'm still right here. Come on. Come on. Man, this sure does look like a good spot to hide. I hope the dragon doesn't decide to come attack me. Head on over here, though. This fight should not be hard. This is probably going to be the easiest thing we do in Upper Kaled. It's Battle Mage Hughes. Um, Y'all should be able to just obliterate this dude. He's not going to be a problem for you. Oh, man. The crazy thing is, the hardest part of this area is still to come. But we're going to tackle that in another episode. This is like the one thing up here that I think we could have hit earlier, um, but yeah, he's down. Uh, so let me just check my notes. I think we got it all. We got Battle Mage Hughes, we got the Skull Lutes, Lenny's Rise, we got the Knight Rider, Dragon Barrow Cave, Erd Tree. We actually got the Cicada Dagger. I can't believe that worked. Uh, and then we got the Gargoyle and the Knights of the Great Jar. Awesome. Uh, so from here, there are a couple things left. We have the Divine Tower, which is a huge pain in the ass. We have the War Dead Catacombs, which are a huge pain in the ass. Uh, and then over here, we have a Ball Bearing Hunter, who, believe it or not, is probably the strongest thing in this entire zone. So from here, we're going to wrap up at Dragon Bearer West. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to try and tackle those three items. Of course, make sure you are spending these runes, because they are coming in fast. Uh, but I will catch you all soon as we continue.